Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Welcome back to my channel. From those who don't me, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Ahmad Nabil Al Ashad with ID student number L zero two one one eight one three three seven. I am a student of Aquatic Resources Management, Marine Science and Fisheries Faculty. Hasanuddin University, and also I'm a member of Aquatic Ecotoxicology C course. So at this time, I'm going to talk about a paper which has named a good toxicity test of carbamat insecticides on common carp Cyprinus carpio, Leneus 7080. Uh, 758 by Catherine Velianova, Luwal Jabar Tumpal, and Ridwan Afandi, 2018. So, at this time, we have five topics which we can discuss together. At first, we have background. In this background, we, in this background is discuss about why was this research conducted the second one is method how was this research conducted the third one is result what did we gain from this research the fourth discussion why did the result be like that and uh, at last uh, at least we will uh, talk about conclusion what can we be inferred from this research Carbamat is a highly toxic pollutant for animal. Even though this insecticide is biodegradable in nature and in food chain, the purpose of this research was to find the LC5096 of carbamat insecticides Marshall 200 EC on test organism. The test organism used a common carb sipping starpio with 6 to 8 centimeters of length and 5.529 gram of weight. This study used an experimental method by divided into two steps, i.e. preliminary test and acute toxicity LC5096. Test. Primary test was done without repetition and twice repetition for acute toxicity. Acute toxicity test data were analyzed by probate analysis. The results show that LC5096 of carbamat insecticides on Cyprinus scarpio was 1.98 milligram per liter. Let's moving on to the background. Why was this research was conducted? Chemical pesticides are compounds that can endanger the health of living organism. One of the pesticides that are still used today is carbamat. The toxicity of carbamat in sexticides is to inhibit the activity of acetylcholinesterase CHE enzyme. The toxic nature of carbamat can lead to acute and chronic poisoning. In human, it is categorized by dizziness and stomach cramps. To insect, it is character character reside by a decreased activity of the acetylene as asterisk enzyme to zero, so that it is no longer able to send nerve impulse to synapse to synapse order, and it fish characterized by loss of balance and control movement followed by change in abnormal posture. Goldfish is an important indicator of the impact of toxic substances because it is economically important fish that is widely cultivated, especially in West Java. Those goldfish can be used as test fish in toxicity tests. Acute toxicity tests using insecticide as toxicant and goldfish as object of research provide very important information on human health. 
because if humans consume small fish that have been exposed to insecticides, it can be considered as one of the main source of insecticide exposure in human and management of insecticide use observation of lethal effect is recorded as median lethal concentration LC50. Previous research by Taufik and Setiadi on the toxicity test of endosulfan insecticides on carp obtained LC50 values at 24 hour test time was 5. 29 milligram per liter, 48 hours is 3.48 milligram per liter, 70 two hours is 2.78 milligram per liter and 96 hours there is 2.42 milligram per liter. With the effect of smaller LC50 value if the exposure time is no longer. Therefore, it is necessary to conduct that good toxicity test use LC50 to 96 hour using others insecticides to measure the value of LC5096 carbamate insecticides against carp cyprinus carpio. Next, we are going to the method. In this method, we will talk about how this research conducted. As you can see on the screen, this study used as a goldfish. This research, this method, used an experimental method with two stages of research. But before of that, this research was conducted in November to December 2070. This research was conducted at the Laboratory of Aquatic Animal Physiology Department of Aquatic Resources Management, Faculty of Fisheries and Marine Science, Bogor Agricultural University. The study used goldfish with length of 6 to 8 cm and body weight of 5.5 to 9 gram. The chemical used is a carbamate insecticide with a trademark Marshall, which, which in one bottle contains the active ingredient carbosulfan. If the unit is converted into ppm, then, then 200.11 gram per liter is equal to 2,110 milligram per liter or ppm. To obtain a stock of solution of 1,000 ppm, five milliliter of standard solution was dissolved in one liter of water. This method uses experimental methods with two stages of research, including a preliminary test and lethal toxicity test or definitive test. This research design use was completely randomized design. Research in the preliminary test stage using a range finding test method, namely the determination of the dose insecticide concentration based on 10 best logarithmic method, namely control zero milligram A is 90 is 10 milligram and other. Research in the acute toxicity test stage are also known as a definitive testing uses a method that refers to the use EPA, EPA 2002 using six different concentration in each of the 20 liter volume test media. During the research period, the preliminary test to the acute toxicity test are 20 liter volume test media. It was repeated twice in the acute toxicity test or definitive test. During the lethal toxicity test, the main parameter observer was a percentage of fish mortality for 96 hours. Supporting parameters that were observed including temperature, dissolved oxygen, and, um, and pH. After the upper and lower threshold concentration are obtained, the concentration to be used in the definitive test or acute toxicity test is researched using the logarithmic formula below. Determination of the concentration is carried out based on quantile responses method according to method of pesticide commission 983.
as you can see on your screen, I'm divided this method into five point method, which is used repetition, feeding, purpose, and dosage. This method on this paper using two stages, preliminary test and lethal toxicity test. Next, we are going to the next, next topic that is result. What did we gain from this research? As you, as you can see on your screen, there are two tables. Uh, at first, there are preliminary tests and the second one is level toxicity test. The preliminary test was divided into six treatment based on logarithmic method, based on 10, namely uh, zero as a control, two, one, and eight increased logarithmic, as you can see on the screen. Data on the mortality of the test data on the mortality of tested fish during the preliminary test are presented in table. The lower threshold value is 100 milligram per liter because this concentration doesn't cause death in the test animal during the exposure period up to 48 hours. And the upper limit value is 10 milligram per liter because the concentration caused 100% of the test animal to die within four, 24 hours. A concentration which can be lethal to at least 50% of the test animal within 96 hour exposure period is called LC50. The concentration used this study comes from the logarithmic calculation in the preliminary test. The value of N is 100 milligram per liter and the value of N is is 10 milligram per liter. Based on the upper and lower threshold value, the concentration for acute toxicity tests were zero milligram per liter as a control. 1.58 uh, milligram per liter, 2.5 milligram per liter, 3.96 milligram per liter, 6 0.27 milligram per liter and 9.92 milligram per liter. The cumulative data on the mortality of tested fish in the acute toxicity test LC50 to 96 can be seen in the table. Mortality of goldfish or Cyprinus carpio increases with the higher concentration of exposure to the test medium and the length of exposure time. Based on the result of the calculation of the probit analysis from the mortality data, it was found that the LC50 value of the carbamate insecticide was 1.68 mg per liter. So we are moving to the next topic is discussion. Why did the result be like that? The increase in the number of mortality is in line with the increase in the amount of exposure to carbamate insecticide given a length of time of exposure. In the control treatment, the test animal didn't experience that because the test animal were not exposed to carbamate insecticide. Goldfish mortality in the acute toxicity test or definitive test was caused by entry of carbamate insecticide into body tissue. According to Darmono, insecticide enter the tissue of living in things through several ways, namely through digestion and, res and, res and respiratory threat, taking from water through gill, gill membrane. In this study, insecticide only enter through the res respiratory system and physical contact between fish scale and the test medium. This is what causes the inhibition of the contact between 
acetylcholinesterase, A-C-H-E enzyme, especially in the central nervous area. The type of portion of the carbamate insecticide is neurotoxin, which make the test animal paralyzed because the central nervous system impulses of the test animal have been changed from active to zero. According to the Lomban Batu, the disabling system of the acetylcholinesterase, A-C-H-E enzyme, by insecticide is to reduce the activity of the acetylcholinesterase ACHE enzyme to zero so that it is no longer able to send nerve impulses from one synapse to another and it can break nerve impulses. When the nerve impulses have been cut off, the test animal will with uh, will experience that the concentration level and period of exposure to carbamat uh, insecticide can also have an effect on fish mortality. According to the Rampo and Yulapi and Al Norahim uh, 2013, the longer the exposure time of toxicant to be following test animal with a higher dose when exposes will have an effect on the tested animal one of which is that the LC50 values or value type of insecticides against carp cyprinus scarpio have also been previous, previously reported. Uh, first, there is a uh, Farida. Farida 20, uh, 2007 reported that LC50 value of the carbamate insecticide, again, carp with size 3 to 5 centimeters, Cyprinus carpio, was 1.3914 mg per liter. Rudianti and Ekasari 2009 revealed that the LC50 value of the insecticide Regan 0.3 gram was. 0.84 mg per liter. There is a difference in the LC50 value. This is presumably due to differences in the size of the test animal. In Friday's research 2007, use a goldfish with size about 3 to 5 cm, while the study used goldfish seeds that were the size of two fingers and 6 to 8 cm long. According to the Guadagnon et al., differences in the LC50 values that occur between two or more studies are common. This is due to differences in the size of the tested animal and differences in the active ingredients contained in toxicants used in each today. Next, we are going to the conclusion. What can we be inferred from this research? The acute toxicity value, LC50 to 96 of the carbamate insecticide with the active ingredient of carbosulfan in goldfish was 1.98 milligram per liter. 68 milligram per liter. Insecticide with acute toxicity value can be categorized as a toxic with high toxicity. To complement the research on the acute toxicity test for carbamat insecticide, further research is needed to see the toxic effect on the organ of carp cyprinus carpio and the safe limit regarding the level of consumption of goldfish that have been contaminated by this insecticide. I think that's all. Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.